everyone and welcome to the perfume realm. My name is Manahil and today's video is going to be an unboxing slash haul video. But before we get started, I just wanted to say if you are interested in joining the realm, I highly suggest clicking the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you can stay up to date on everything that is happening here. When you guys subscribe to me, you are supporting my channel, you are helping it grow, and I'm truly, truly thankful for every single person who subscribes. Now, let's jump into the video. Okay, so the first box is from Lancome, and I ordered Oud Bouquet. Now I already own Oud Bouquet, but it is the older formulation and I heard from someone that they were going to be discontinuing the entire Maison Lancome line and I freaked out because I really do love the scent. So I had to go and pick it up. Plus they were having a sale, so it was just, you know, perfect timing for me. However, I also wanted to pick up Jasmine's Marzipan and I didn't get a chance to do that so I'm a little upset and I really really hope that they're not discontinuing this line because it is absolutely beautiful but I did want to pick up the newer formulation of Oud Bouquet so I'm going to open it up here and then I'm going to compare it to the um, older formulation that I own. Obviously since I'm spraying it right now it's just going to be a comparison of the opening for each perfume but Let's stop talking and let's open this up. Okay, so this is the box. Let's get this bad boy open. I honestly find Oud Bouquet to be such a timeless fragrance. It's definitely in my top 10 that I own. And here it is. So I love the bottles for the newer formulation and the, you know, current Mason Lancome line. They're so beautiful. It is an absolute work of art. Get a little peek right here. Plus they have these nice magnetic caps, which is also... Okay, so this is the bottle for the older uh, formulation. We are going to spray this one first. And I don't want to, you know what, whatever. We're going to do it on my arms. Why not? I completely missed that time. There we go. Okay, so right away, the newer version of Oud Bouquet is definitely a little bit more alcoholy in the opening. I'm definitely getting a little bit more alcohol, whereas this one, it is blended so fine that the opening, the alcohol kind of goes unnoticed. I mean, there's a booziness to it, of course, but that kind of alcohol that comes with perfume is not that evident as it is in this one. But I also think maybe because this one has been sitting around, it's been sprayed a few times, maybe this formulation has just had enough time to kind of mature. Okay, so the next fragrance that I'm going to be unboxing, I actually already unboxed this one and tested it out, but I put it back in the box to unbox in front of you guys. And this is from Noble 1942. I also own La Danza de Libelou, which I have talked about at length. This is an absolutely beautiful gourmand that Honestly, from the first day, shot up to my top five fragrances really quick. So when I was on Fragrantica, I was looking for fragrances that are similar to Guimave from Reminiscence because I am absolutely obsessed with it. And I was also looking for fragrances that smell like Killian's uh, Love, Don't Be Shy. And I came across someone who talked about Erdesion. Now, as soon as I saw that this fragrance was from Nobel 1942, I knew I had to pick it up because La Danse de Libelou had blown me away. And so, of course, I had a lot of trust uh, with the fragrance house at that point. And so I decided to order it and it came in. And it is truly a beautiful scent. Like, it is, it's so beautiful. So this is Bardesion. The bottles of this company are 
incredible like they are so beautiful and unique and i love the domed caps uh the glass and the cap are very heavy like really amazing quality and for a niche house i would say that the fragrances are not too overpriced which is pretty nice because we know how niche prices can go and it is this incredible fluffy scent it has herbs in it it definitely has that herbal vanilla tone that Guimave has there's also the lavender in here i honestly think that the pedigree in here is what makes it so unique there is something about this scent that stands apart from any other uh, marshmallow type of scent I have ever smelled. There's also neroli and orange blossom in here and you have to love neroli and orange blossom to love this scent because um, they are both very prominent. But yeah, this is a gorgeous scent. It is a gourmand and I would say that the sillage for this one is incredible because La Danza de Libelu is actually a scent that sits a little bit closer to your skin and the longevity isn't huge either. This one performs really really well and so that's also another plus to this fragrance. Um, I don't think that this is a safe blind buy because of the herbal quality in here. I love this one. It definitely has kind of a cake kind of vibe. It is so sweet and cake-like. There's something very pink about this. So to me, this smells like a neroli and orange blossom cake that was infused in lavender. And then there's also lavender frosting, a little bit of that pedigree. It's just beautiful, yummy, fluffy, and I adore it. So if you are interested in more of a deep dive of Bird de Zion, let me know and I will definitely get that review out for you guys. Also, um, recently I did a video and I talked about Indole and I asked you guys if you were interested in me doing a video about Indole and there was an overwhelming amount of people who said yes. So don't worry, I am definitely having uh, the Indole video coming soon. And especially I wanted to let Takara know because uh, she asked about it too. So it's coming, I promise. All right, next up we have um, a perfume from Victor and Ralph. And the perfume that I got, okay. So the reason I bought this one was because I have been interested in getting the original and then this is the limited edition um, of the bonbon so it comes with this like sequin uh, packaging this like sequin bow which is kind of tacky to me in my opinion but um, I guess they were kind of getting rid of their stock for the limited edition so it did go on sale and I decided to pick it up because I have been waiting on this one so I picked it up. Here is the packaging. It comes in a pretty cute box. Okay, so now let's open this baby up. Okay, so this is Bonbon Couture, which I already own, and this is Bonbon. So it comes with this little bow only because it's the limited edition. I really think it's a tacky bow, but now I kind of think it's cute. Like it's, it's growing on me, but Ooh. let's get a little spray of this unfortunately i already sprayed well it's not unfortunately but i already sprayed the oud bouquet on both of my arms by the way smelling this one again now it smells almost identical to the original or the old formulation of oud bouquet so it's probably just the opening that is a little bit different for me so just saying but all right i'm gonna spray the uh original bonbon on my on the outside here mm, it is really pretty but i will say that the differences between the two aren't huge the dna of the original is definitely here in the couture and it's easy to pick up on as well it's not like they completely changed the formula or anything like that it just has you know small differences that set them both apart from each other but 
Again, I wouldn't expect the couture to really, you know, blow your mind if you already own the original. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up my haul and unboxing video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. It's fun to do. It's fun to sit down and kind of just chat about what I bought with you guys. You guys are my friends, my beautiful fragrant friends and this is what I do with my friends so I wanted to do the same with you guys as well. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have been doing any shopping recently. I love to know what you guys are buying and also let me know if you have tried any of these fragrances out and what your thoughts are on them because I'm pretty happy with everything I bought thus far. The last thing I'm going to request is let me know in the comments if you want me to kind of do a quick candle collection video. I really love candles and home fragrances. Um, it's more of a pastime for me, whereas perfume is a passion and I read up on it and I like to be educated on uh, different aspects of the perfume world, whereas candles, I kind of just enjoy them. So it's not that deep. So if I was going to do a candle video, it would just be me going through the ones I own, what I like about them, and just kind of talk to you guys about them.